guys. I'm going to do a quick demonstration on the piston. Um, for our starting a new blueprint, I'm going to raise this all the way up um, so we can see the blueprint and where it is. So PC, go to Control 3. Um, so hold Control and push the number 3. And then here I'm going to push 3 again. It's going to raise up my piston. So that's the reverse control. You can always go into G and then highlight and it'll tell you what items do on your bar. If I can do mods in the future, it'll be a list above this. But for now, with no mods, um, this is how you can tell and read what things are. Not the best system in the world. Um, now we're going to take a... We're going to go into here and I'm going to hit I. Um, pull up the screen. I'm going to go to Control Panel. Then I'm going to go and type in projector or just PRO will get you here. Um, not going to worry about the large one because that will only like large grid items and you need the small grid items because that's what will fit on this printer. We're going to go into blueprints and then let that load a little bit and find a nice blueprint. I will go to um, minor and I think I have a nice one that has. Um, all right. Where is it? All right, Atmo. Let's do Atmo. Oop, there we go. This guy here is got the end. The other thing is your blueprint. You're going to want the engines off. If you watch on my YouTube's, it's not a good thing when they're on. Um, and we're going to go copy the clipboard. And so now that is, yep, so F out of there. So now there it is. So we got to align it to get so it's right in this square. So, and if you hold alternate, you can move your view around. Now, I'm sorry, console guys, I don't know the commands. Um, so we're going to go to control one. And this is going to be your simple left, right, up, down, away, and near movements. And control two is going to be your turning movement. So it's going to roll it, flip it, and do other things. Right now, it's the engines are pointing down. Um, the only thing I want to do is I want to turn it so it's the direction of the platform seat. So, you know, and so sometimes I just, there we go. That'll work for me. Um, so I'm going to go back to control one to get to the first command line. And then we're going to lower it. Oh, we're going to go back, I guess. And now side to side, down, 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 down. Okay. Now, we don't want to get too far down yet. We just want to get close. What we're going to do is we're going to lower this piston all the way now. And we're going to go to that control three and hit three again. And so that's going to lower that all the way down. The reason I got rid of those other blocks at the beginning or I don't if anybody has any blocks below that green right here um, if this were to hit the glass before the pistons all the way down it couldn't make the whole head of this thing explode so it's always good to get that down what we're gonna want to do is we're gonna want to have the top of this image right above the glass just barely above the glass that way it will give us plenty of distance especially in larger builds that we can lift it all the way out uh, in the open so that everything can get welded. If anything, any block is still in the glass or anything below it, it won't build it. It has to be a clear open space to build that block. So right now we're going to go to control one and I think it was yeah, seven. So I'm going to bring this and just keep bringing it up and you can wait until it stops and, and play with it. But I'm going to get closer to that and just let it finish. The piston speed has to be as slow as possible so it doesn't skip blocks when it's built. And it's always good to, while you're waiting for stuff like this, go check inventory. Make sure you have a lot of all the basic parts because if it's missing one part or like one, no, there's no steel plate, it's going to build that block. And then it needs that block to build the next block to connect onto it. So especially bigger blocks it's a pain when you don't you have things and all of a sudden especially interior parts where you can't get to them now there is a later too there is a welding arm if some of the stuff on the top or something wasn't able to get welded then you can use that to to work on 
finishing off a build. Oh, and then um, I'm going to just hit eight till I get it just right there. So my first block, it's just sitting there. And then I'm going to take, and I'm going to get, and I'm using creative now. Oh, I can actually turn off creative and show you what it looked like for you guys. And it's just going to be, I'm going to build some blocks. And it doesn't matter too much. All I want to do is get to a buildable surface. Um, and then here's where I got to use my jetpack so that I can, and you can do this in the air once you know your distance. I mean, I don't have to do it like this. I could raise the piston and raise it back up and so I don't have a block yet but if I get over here oh out of steel plate so here's where you get your materials and part of the tutorial and I'm just gonna hold that there um don't yep yeah. so and we're gonna click see how that changed color so that is now able to start build now if you want you can always do the whole surface then everything there will build at one time instead of waiting for that block to build and then those block to build so you could do all that so everything on that level builds at once now what we're going to do is we're going to turn the welders on and then activate the piston to raise this up slowly so we're just going to go back to control three and then the first item if you hold uh go to g you'll see welders and then this is your piston. So we're just going to go welders on. So tap one. And you'll see it built some of that line that we built. It's not a big deal. We're just grinding it down. It's only one one steel. But it's sitting here. Uh, it's still welding. So it's telling me that it's either we're missing some parts or I'm just too well. So we're going to just test it out. This is, I don't have a lot of time right now. I'm going to hit three. And I am going to let that just raise on its own. But those engines, the big engines that point down, are big blocks. So they won't build until they're fully out of the glass. So depending on how it's built and how things are connected to it, it could make it a pain. So the motor's just done, it worked. Now there is a button in here, which I'm glad somebody added. Um, which I never used to before, um, this off button for the piston. Because otherwise it would just raise all the way up, and we don't need it all the way up, but I am going to reverse a little because if you see the bottom, it didn't, uh, and we might be out of materials because I did not check before I started. So I'm going to hit, I'm going to hit reverse, and I'm going to get it back down as low as I can. Um, yeah, I'm seeing things that haven't built yet, so I imagine this is what it looks like when we don't have everything so but i'm going to continue on like we have everything because it doesn't really change what we're going to do so say this all built or even if it didn't build and you want to come back and fix things up yep see we've got you the no motor motor on the right is uh out so it must be out of motors um so and steel bar so you can always go here i hold i click f on the box and then production yep see it looks like well we're gonna have things that and these can be all together um, but we're gonna need and I'll if you hold control you'll get 10 of them if you hold shift you get a hundred of them and if you hold control shift you get a thousand of them um, and then I'm also gonna make a thousand of those and a thousand of those um, inventory says we're a little low on steel got a lot of those yeah we didn't have those and yeah there's no tubes um, production, so we're going to need, and these tubes take up a lot of space, so I'm going to do a couple hundred of those. Um, get some of these tubes quick. Actually, I got another assembler. Let's make some this, 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 this. Oh, I'm holding the wrong buttons. And that. But yeah, I don't get anything more than a couple thousand of things. I mean, we definitely don't need, I mean, a couple hundred batteries are good. These ore detectors and radio components, 50 at the most. So I'll have to refine down some of these. Um, but those are really good. That's good to have right there, those superconductors, those platinum. So, um, so now that I've built some stuff, I can actually go 
back to the welder. Turn it on. Okay, so that we still got to let it build more and you can see that those didn't build up here so definitely is important to make sure we have inventory before you start but okay so it's like this it's hanging here no power powers off which is good um your batteries when they're new will have a little bit of a charge um but you'll want to dock it and let it charge up to the fullest um after built so we're just going to come in here and we are just going to grind that off it's going to drop to the ground then we can, oh, and then, you know, you can see the projector. If uh, you turn the welders on right now, it would try to build onto itself. So we're going to turn off kit number two, turn off projection, come in here. We're going to put our, our thrusters on. Okay, so now we've got enough thrust to move. Um, v to look around, but we're going to come out here. Now, if I had a connector, which here, let's just put one down quick. Um, and connector, connector, connector. Okay, I'm gonna go back to creative for a little bit to speed this up. And there, we're gonna put a connector right there. Now, connector just there without any piping to it will power your ship, but it will not add hydrogen and equipment, materials, nothing like that. So, um, hang on, just because I knew that that thing was not built. Oh. Of course, never mind. My projector is, our connector is on the back. So we will do it over here. Okay. So now we go back in our ship. We will fly over to that thing. And we will hopefully all got enough thrusters for different directions. Do -do -do. Yeah, I got it now. Good. Yeah, if you didn't have one direction, you would just keep going in that direction. Uh, the little sparks. At least connectors can take a little bit of damage, but if you hit too hard and they turn black, they are broken. They get magnetized once in space. A place. Okay. Now, most of my ships, I will put nine as a connector, and then to the left will be all the different sequences to turn things off. So, we've got connector ready to connect. So, I connect it, then it's at the base. Uh, it can turn on or off lights. I don't know why that's there, but... You'll see batteries on auto and thrusters are on. So hit battery. Yeah, I always have it set up so this will be my re recharge and on and off. So I'll set it to recharge and I will set it to on. Now, bad thing is what happens if you do not turn, say you turn your thrusters on and you disconnect, you fall to the ground. Because your batteries, you're not getting power from the base anymore. You're, get, you're getting nothing because it's off. It's on recharge. Recharge is only pulling power into your batteries auto back on and then i can lift back up um nine to connect put that always put that to the recharge thrusters off because that's drawing power um and that should be it